Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will discuss about the lightning app pages in Salesforce. So in Salesforce lightning app pages are the type of lightning page that is used to display custom app pages in the lightning experience and this page display related tabs information and the action within those page. So we can also modify these custom app pages with the help of a lightning app builder where we can add or remove the standard or custom components so in this video we will learn to create the lightning app pages in salesforce and after this we will activate and deploy that custom app page in the applications so before that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course and also i will mention the course link in the description from where you can access it so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early words so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this code you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our so let's continue to the topic and now we are going to learn how to create a custom app page in salesforce so for that i will log into my salesforce developer console so right now so right now i am on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here to create a custom app page we will navigate to the lightning app builder for that go to this quick find box in here search and select the lightning app builder and in the lightning app builder you can see these are the list of these are the previously created app pages record pages in the home pages so to create a new page click on this new button and here we are going to create an app page so select the option app page and click on the next button so here we have to enter the label for the new app page so i am going to name it as a customer support page and after entering the label click on the next button and from here you can select the uh, template format for the app page so here i am selecting the table format header and right sidebar and after selecting the template format click on the done button so now you can see this is the template region and on the left hand side you can see a list of standard components and we can also create the uh, custom salesforce component and to add this uh, standard component to the template region we have to simply drag this component to the template region we add this components according to the business requirement so you can add the components according to your requirements and after adding the components to the screen region you can also set the visibility to that particular component for like for example you want to make the dashboard available for a specific user then you have to select the dashboard component and and on the right hand side you have you can see this set component visibility here click on add filter so for applying filter we will select the field as user so here we will select the filter list as a user and on what basis we will filter the user so for that i have selected the user email and after selecting these two fields click on the done button and the operator you can keep as contains or equal and the value will be the email of the user for which you want to make this component visible and after applying the filter click on the done button and to activate this app page on the application first we have to click on the save button so as we click on the save button this activation window will appear on the screen here we have to click on this activate button and in the activation window we can manage the tab visibility in the setup for that we can either choose that uh, uh, this app page will be available for all the users or it will be available for the administrators only uh, so here i am selecting the option activate it for all users and from the icon section you can also change the app page icon and you here you can see the multiple options that you can select as icon for your application and after this go to this lightning experience tab here you can see the list of applications that are available in your org and to deploy this app page on any of the applications select the application and on the right hand side click on the button app page to application 
and you can also select the multiple application to deploy this app page and in the mobile navigation tab you can select the mobile view of this app page so for that click on this mobile navigation menu and then click on add page to application so as of now we have activated this uh, app page in the application and at last click on the save button so now we will go back to the application on which we have deployed or activated this app page so from the app launcher i will navigate to the application that is sales tech app so this is the application on which we have uh, activated this app page so this was the customer support page and this is the app page that you can see here so this is how we can create a salesforce lightning app page so this was all about salesforce lightning app page and with the help of this you can provide a quick access to the uh, relevant tools and information which includes component dashboard charts tabs and custom record views so this was all about lightning app pages in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye